Hey, good morning. We're out here uh, near Como Mountain in Nevada. Uh, we're doing a uh, review on a Hickpeed uh, truck tent that was sent to us by the company to review for our channel uh, so that they can use it in promotional settings. Um, so first, it comes in a uh, cardboard box, obviously. This one shipped from Amazon. You open it up. Inside, you get a, uh, a bag for, um, for transportation of the uh, tent. It's pretty long, but you'll see why here in just a second. I like how lightweight it is. Yeah, it's it's pretty lightweight. I don't. I think I saw somebody said it weighed like 11 pounds or something. Um, important to note is that it has two straps to wrap around it, so that when you close it back up, it's pretty compact. Uh, the other thing is the instructions for putting the tent up are right inside of the bag which is real nice. You also have your, uh, you have a, a bag for the inside of the tent to hold your like cell phones, keys, whatever. And then you have your, uh, your rain fly or whatever you want to call it. Now, typically when we go out camping, we don't use a rain fly because it hardly ever rains <laughs> here. Um, and it would just, end up keeping a lot of the heat in the tent anyway. Uh, we'll try and put it on. The other thing that's impressive uh, from the videos I've watched of other people reviewing this is that it only takes about five minutes to put up completely. We're not gonna time it. So we'll come over, pop these clips off, keep these just off to the side. I'm just going to throw them here in the truck bed. You unravel it a little bit. You start by setting it up like this. And then you have to try and determine where the front door is. This looks like the front door. Okay. So. Huh? Let me know if you want my help. Okay. Um. Now I did bring a step ladder uh, because I have it. And I think I'm gonna need it. Okay, um, the next thing you want to do is you want to grab right here and you want to put this at the proper angle and then you're going to pull this leg up or this arm up until this yellow piece pops out. Okay, it's popped out. Now we'll do the other side, same thing. And it popped out. Thank you. 
Okay, and so what I did there is the two front side arms are not as long as these back ones because they're going to sit up on the bed rail. Okay, so now that this is kind of in place, we're going to pull these out to the tailgate and set them in place. And this is just going to hook on under the bumper here. We're going to leave it a little bit loose. Same thing on this side. And then on the front here, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to set it where we want it and then strap these down along the side of the truck. We'll go to the other side. pretty cool. It's pretty fast too. Yeah. <laughs> now I do have a right line truck tent that I will probably prefer over this and I'll explain why in a little bit. But this one, I don't think you can beat how quick it takes to put this thing up. Yeah. And again, I'm just hooking these under the bumper. Did you want to tighten this one? Down? Yeah, then we're going to tighten these. Okay. So that's pretty much all of the setup. All right. So I wasn't expecting that. The whole liner? Yeah. Well, no, like I knew it had a liner, but. Okay. We'll have to, I'll have to get in here and mess with it. Okay, so inside you have four windows, or excuse me, three windows in the door. And they basically just unzip and then you can roll them up.
Huh? Is this a little vent? Or? No, it's a little uh, pass-through. Okay, so with this opened up, I'm, I'm six foot tall. And uh, one thing I forgot to do. Uh, there we go. What was that? It's, it's uh, a tensioner, I think. Um, so I'm six foot tall. And uh, even with the hat on, I can stand in here. I can move around. I can change clothes. Um, can't really do that in my ridge, uh, my right line tent. And uh, one of the other things that I like is that right here, there's a pass-through window that would allow me to run like cords or if I had like a cooler in the back seat or something, I could just reach through here, grab whatever I need uh, within reason and be on my way. And it zips up, it's pretty nice. So it's got pockets in here where you can hang cell phones, car keys, whatever. Do you wanna hand me that other one? One second. Yep. And then this one, it goes overhead. So there's these little uh, hooks here, I think, maybe not. Does it say in the instructions where this goes? Yeah, it goes up here. Okay. So it goes up top? Yeah. It's just kind of a tight fit to get in in there. So then it's got pockets built in. You just slide your things in and, and they would hopefully stay. Um, well, put your cell phone up there. Give it a try. Huh? Put your wallet and cell phone up there. Cell phone, wallet, whatever. So obviously that works. Pretty cool. I'm just going to leave it attached. And then, um, go ahead and throw me the rain fly. Okay, so now I'm going to put the rain fly on. At least attempt to. Do you need me to pull on can one you, side? Yeah, can you pull on it if you can grab it? How do you... What? I think I need to come around the other side. I would need a step ladder, I think. Okay, there, I got it. Um, this is a window. So the name is right here on it. Huh? So I'm wondering if this goes to the front because the name is here. And I think well, that's what I was thinking, but why would there be a window? Because this is going to hang over it. I think this will go to the front like this. Yes, there you go. What? Well, maybe not. Let me... Is that window a door? Is that the door opening? What's it say? I bet it is. 
Locate the door zipper and orient correctly toward the tent door. Drape rain fly over tent. Secure corners of rain fly to tent corners. So. You're going to have to help. I Did you find the door? This is what I think is the door. Yep, I think that is the door. So these are the sides. This will go right over. This will. Oh. So. Just pull this out real quick. I have to go back up again and. the step ladder. I'm too short. So. Oops, I can't go up in here. Um, I'm almost got it. Okay. I don't see the door. Hold on, just give me a sec. my corner where it needs to be. You're standing in the door. This is the door. Like that, and then we gotta, I don't know where these go. Oh, here, hold on one second. So if you come here, come out and I'll show you. Go so right here. Yeah, they just hook in. Go into that. And then. So, this is an issue. You would think that they would have... We'd have to clip it down. Yeah. And then these are here for rolling it back. Like. Yeah. I do want to check. I have to get back a bit in here. Oh. It doesn't. What are you looking for? I was looking to see if it had a window. It wouldn't. So this one does? Yes. That okay, one has so a window. Okay, so I need to get back up in here. So I'm going to check the tent window on the door.
Yeah, I would never use the rain fly. It is so hot in here right now. Oh, for sure. But. Yeah. Okay, how's this hook? There it is. Alright, so... I think that's, I think this is about as installed as you're gonna get it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So some pros for this tent is it's really quick to get up if you don't have to put up the rain fly. I think the rain flies a bit, a bit much. Just because the tent itself is so high, it makes it really difficult to get the rain fly up there. And if you were doing this by yourself, I think it would be pretty difficult to pull that off. Um, another thing I don't like, or excuse me, let's just go over the things I like. Um, I like that it has the rain fly. I don't like having to put the rain fly on. I wonder if there's an easier way to do it while you're putting the tent up. I was gonna say, if you could put lay it over the top yeah. before you pop it up maybe if you live in an area where it rains often or you're worried about the moisture in the mornings or something maybe try putting the rain fly on before you put the tent up um, i like the height uh, there's plenty of room in there there's a lot of storage so each side of the tent has a storage bag for wallets uh, purses phones stuff like that and then there's one that snaps into the top uh, there's also a lantern hook or a light hook i don't think i'd put a lantern in there um, pretty easy to set up that's that's a selling point right there i like that it's lightweight i can lift yeah it. it's really lightweight uh, it's not hard to move around yeah it's not it's not too big it's a lot longer than i expected it to be but that's because of the height You've got to have that frame structure to get it that high. Um, I like that the instructions are in the bag. Uh, looks like it's going to be pretty easy to fit back in that bag. So I don't think that's an issue. Anything else you can think of? No, other than getting the rain fly on alone, I think this would be a... An, unless we did it differently to see if it could be put on before you pop it up. I mean, it seemed to go up so much easier yeah. than the what's the, the right line the right line one okay let's talk about cons number one uh the biggest thing for me is i've got a trifold tonneau cover that i keep on the truck it's a hard cover um, we had to remove that before we came out today because this does set down into the bed of the truck so this portion right here is all through the truck. So it's got this, um, I guess it would be nylon uh, webbing, kind of like a tarp, yeah. uh, a cheap tarp that you would buy. Um, but this encloses the tent into the bed of the truck. So it's, it's relatively waterproof, I would think. Um, so for me, I, I prefer to have my tonneau cover. Uh, when we use the right line, the right line sits on top of the bed rails but the whole interior of the bed is open. And I like that because we end up traveling on dirt roads and whatnot. And I like to have the tonneau to keep my stuff relatively clean inside of the bed. Um, the next thing obviously is, is the rain fly. Uh, 
it's now that I understand how it goes on, it's a lot more uh, impressive. Uh, but it is difficult to put on. I can't imagine trying to do it by yourself. Um, Man, I don't know. I don't know what I would say on this. Uh, currently, uh, it's selling for about $120, uh, which is a steal. Uh, I don't think you can beat that anywhere, um, for a truck tent especially. Uh, I believe these are sold as a one-size-fits-all. On the website, they have a, uh, a range of vehicles and it says whether it'll fit or not. Um, my Tundra here is a five and a half foot long bed and it fits almost all the way to the tailgate, which is perfect because being six foot, I need almost all the way to the, to the tailgate. So this is gonna work for us, for sure. Um, once it's in here, it's pretty set. I'm pretty impressed. Um, and it seems to be heavy duty enough, like that it can take the tension of the poles and everything. It yeah. doesn't feel flimsy. Yeah, for sure. I was kind of concerned about the poles because they are attached to the whole setup and you don't have to break them down uh, to take the tent down. Uh, mostly, can't really see it right here, but. Here, I'll come over. I was concerned about this area here um, and the, the higher up spot here, which is where it actually bends. It's way up. Can you unhook that one? Mm -hmm. I was concerned about these knuckles. And uh, to be honest with you, I think it's a good design. Not saying that after years of, of use it wouldn't maybe break, but I don't, I don't see it being an issue. And like, if you're gonna use this several times in a year, for 120 bucks, if it lasts you two years, that's a steal. So, now come around to the other side. One other thing that I would say is, is a, a con is the rain fly itself sets right up against the tent. It would be nice if there was a standoff or a, uh, what do they call those? The lines that run out. You know, so um, that the moisture wouldn't hit so the, the moisture oven. wouldn't hit the tent mm -hmm. uh, because in the early mornings, you know, when it cools off or whatever, it uh, could be an issue. Other than that, I think this is a good deal. I think uh, I think it's worth buying, and uh, I don't know what we will do with it. I think it's either gonna become a giveaway or um, we'll gift it to somebody. Um, or we might even just keep it for ourselves. I, I really don't know. Well, I feel like it's an easy pop-up. Like if you're... If you're going out for one day, this mm -hmm. is the way to do it. Or maybe a two day. Yeah. Because it went up in a couple of minutes. Yeah. And I can, I can probably get the right line up in 10 or 15 minutes, but I think this is a, now that I know how to do it, I think I could easily do it in five minutes. Yeah. Without the rain fly. Mm -hmm. By myself. So, um, this is uh, a Hickpeed, H-I-K-P-E-E-D, uh, truck tent. It also... Uh, seems to be sold under the name Go Gear, I believe. Uh, I'd have to look that up. Let me look it up real quick. We may not have internets. 
Oh, that's true. Okay, so it's a uh, Hickpeed tent, uh, truck tent. Um, they do sell normal tents. They sell some other camping equipment. Um, I'd, I'd love to review some of that as well. Um, but it also uh, is sold under the name Gear Top, G-E-E-R-T-O-P. Uh, so Hickpeed, H-I-K-P-E-E-D. I think they've got, uh, I think they've got a good product. We'll end it there.